Hey, thanks for tuning in to our catch can installation video. Before we get started, I'd like to take a second and explain to you some of the benefits of a catch can and what a catch can does. Catch cans mount in line with the, your vehicle's vacuum system, catching contaminants such as oil before they can make it back into your engine. The Boomba Racing Catch Can offers some pretty unique features such as the ability to hold over 350 milliliters of liquid, a two-step outlet filtration system, a user configurable inlet and outlet setup, a quick easy drain NPT plug, a sight window on the side of the can to see the level of the contaminants inside of it. These cans are also CNC machined from billet aluminum so there's no welding or anything to worry about cracking there. And they also come with a bracket specific to your project to help make installation as easy as possible. In this video, we'll be showing you the installation of our catch cans for the Focus ST. First, we're going to start with our Stage 1 catch can, which mounts on the CCV side. And then we will show you how to install the Stage 2 catch can, which mounts on the PCV side. The tools required for the installation are a 7mm, 8mm, and 13mm socket, a 4mm, 5mm, and 6mm Allen wrench, flathead screwdriver, as well as a pair of pliers. Begin by removing the engine cover. Disconnect the vacuum line. Remove the air intake. Remove the vent line. Remove the two nuts holding the vacuum line bracket. Install the catch can bracket over the vacuum line bracket and secure it with the nuts. Install the catch can clamp. Install the catch can and tighten the clamp. Cut the vent line and install the fittings. Lube the inside of the provided vent lines and press them over the fittings. The short hose will go to the inlet on the catch can and the long hose will go to the outlet on the catch can. Connect the vent lines to the catch can. Install the intake and reconnect the vacuum line. Starting on the Stage 2 install, 
You begin by disconnecting the MAP sensor and removing the bolts holding the intake manifold. Pull the manifold away from the engine towards the front of the vehicle. Remove the clip holding the NOx sensor. Disconnect the vent line from the intake manifold. Make a small horizontal incision on each side of the vent hose in order to release tension so that you can remove it from the fitting where it is connected to the block. Once you have the vent hose free from the engine, you may remove the fitting by doing the same thing and making small incisions on each side in order to remove the tension and pull the fitting out. Oil the inside of the supplied vent lines to make installing the fittings easier. Install the shorter line onto the fitting and secure it with the hose clamp. Connect the vent line to the 90 degree green elbow on the engine block and secure it with the hose clamp. Connect the vent line to the intake manifold. You can now reinstall the intake manifold, but leave the far right hand bolt undone because you'll be using this to mount the catch can bracket. You can also at this point reconnect the MAP sensor. At this point, you can now install the catch cam bracket utilizing the bottom right bolt on the intake manifold. Install the catch can and connect the vent lines. You should have the line coming from the PCV valve going to the inlet on your catch can and your outlet on your catch can should take you back to the intake manifold. Reinstall the engine cover. 